from two. Having shot the fame on Discovery Channel's Alaska The Last Frontier, Ad Lee Kilcher is a reality show star who gained popularity from showcasing his hunting and fishing talents. Ad Lee was born to Ad Sr. and Leander Carroll on the 26th of August 1977 in Alaska, USA, and has three siblings, Jewel, Shane, and Nikos. The reality cable television series Alaska is one of the Discovery Channel's most popular offerings, having been on air since the 29th of December 2011 by documenting the lives of the Kilcher family. Descendants of Yule and Ruth Kilcher, Alaskan pioneers with Swedish roots, the show's producers have allowed the general public a fascinating behind-the-scenes look at another way of living, foregoing what many consider basic necessities such as modern heating. The Kilcher clan survives by farming, hunting, and fully preparing for harsh and long winters. The Kilcher family is made up of Otto, Charlotte, Atz, Bonnie, Atz Lee, Jane, Ivan, Eve, and Shane. Jewel has made cameos in the show. The show's first season was a huge success, despite running for just three episodes. The first thrilling installment followed the devastated Kilcher clan as they went on one last hunting trip before winter after discovering that wild bears had killed some of their cattle. In episode two, the family raced against the clock to finish preparing for the eight-month-long winter season, but were ultimately left unprepared after a newborn calf and its mother disappeared in the last episode. Thanks to rave reviews, Alaska returned in October 2012 for 15 more episodes, despite being faced with a lack of food and the brutal elements. Otto and Ants embarked on an ambitious aid mission to help out their fellow homesteader, which made for a nerve-wracking season premiere. After surviving winter, the clan went out on spring hunts, fished for king salmon in the open seas, and milled lumber, with their every move being followed by cameramen. Over the years, fans have been kept on the edge of their seats thanks to the Kilcher's unusual lifestyle. The show's popularity peaked in 2014. That year, it was nominated for two Emmy Awards, one in Outstanding Cinematography for Reality Programming category, and another for Outstanding Unstructured Reality Program. A year earlier, Alaska won the Communicator Awards Award of Distinction. On the 28th of September 2020, Discovery announced that they would be renewing Alaska for an additional three seasons. Julius Jacob Kilcher, later known as Yule Fornoth Kilcher, was born in Laufen, Switzerland on the 9th of March 1913 and relocated to Alaska as a young man. Following a brief stint in his country of birth at the age of 26, Yule settled down permanently near Homer, Alaska. A cultured individual, Yule studied comparative philology and archaeology in Berlin and claimed to have worked in Poland, North Africa, and the US as a journalist. During his travels, he learned how to build log houses, which helped him set off to Alaska with the aim of founding an idealistic community. Yule changed his name and received 160 acres of land in the Kachemak Bay area outside of Homer. In 1939, he returned briefly to Switzerland in an effort to persuade others to emigrate to Alaska. In 1941, Yule married Ruth Weber, an American citizen originally from Pratolin. They had eight children who were raised on the family homestead. Atz, Otto, Wartilla, Faye, Katkin, Stella Vera, Mossy, and Sunrise. The family's self-sufficient natural lifestyle meant that they lived without running water and grid electricity. The first documentaries of homesteading life, The Last Frontier, and A Pioneer Family in Alaska were produced by Yule himself on 16mm film. From 1947 to 1948 and 1956 to 1958, Yule traveled Europe and showcased his documentaries. Other life achievements included his election to the Constitutional Convention for Alaska in representation of the Kenai Peninsula. During the course of his political career, Yule also held the Democratic Party state senate seat from 1963 to 1966, considering himself a man of the people and a member of his party's radical wing. Keeping in life with his philosophy, Yule advocated for nature conservation and was part of the first expedition to cross the Harding Icefield in Alaska from homeward to seaward. While Yule traveled for work, Ruth and children were left in charge of the homestead. The couple divorced in 1969, and the same year, Ruth moved to Tennessee and began working as a writer, journalist, and translator. Two years later, she remarried in New Mexico. On 8th December 1998, Yule passed away peacefully of old age. Tony Knowles, the Alaska governor at the time, ordered state flags to be flown at half-mast on the day of his funeral. The homestead law passed in 1862, making it possible for people to receive federally owned land if they met certain requirements and could show that they maintained it and lived there. As of 1986, homesteading is no longer possible in Alaska. However, according to the National Park Service, there are still homestead lands in 30 states. The peak year for homestead claims was 1913, with 11 million acres 
an impressive 45% of Nebraska's acres were distributed under the Homestead Act. There are thought to be over 93 million descendants of homesteaders alive today. Over time, the Kilter property grew to 600 acres of land. You'll witness how other Kachemek Bay homesteads were being divided up between families and becoming smaller, which led him to create the Kilter Family Trust in the 1990s, thanks to which the Kilter homestead's 600 acres will remain intact for future growth. Thanks to their unconventional way of living, the Kilters attracted plenty of media attention, even before their lucrative TV deal with Discovery. A Swedish documentary released in 1984, The Hard School of the Simple Life, saw Alfie Sinninger play the role of Yule, while in 2012, Swiss radio and television compared the Kilter's lifestyle to Jean-Jacques Rousseau's philosophy. Yule isn't the only famous Kilter. His son Atz, a singer-songwriter known for his yielding skills, is the father of the Grammy-nominated musician Jewel, who has been active in the industry since 1994 and has sold over 30 million records worldwide. Jewel was born in Payson, Utah on the 23rd of May 1974, while her father was studying in Brigham Young University. Brought up in the Mormon faith, she and her older brother Shane attended the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints until her parents divorced in 1981, following which Jewel lived with her father on the Kilter homestead. She said of her childhood, We lived far from town, no running water, no heat. We mainly lived off what we could kill or can. I loved it there. The first song Jewel learned to sing was St. Louis Blues, and during her formative years, she occasionally performed with her father in taverns and roadhouses to supplement their living expenses. They also sang at the Hotel Captain Cook and the Hilton Anchorage, which is when she learned how to yodel. At 15 years of age, Jewel was working at a local dance studio when the instructor referred her to Michigan's Interlochen Arts Academy. The future celebrity applied and was awarded a partial scholarship to study operatic voice. Plus, businesses in Homer raised $11,000 to pay for the rest of her first year's tuition. In Michigan, Jewel learned to play the guitar and received classical training, which also helped her perfect her songwriting skills. While studying, Jewel gave live performances in coffee houses. Relocating to California after graduation, she worked as a phone operator and coffee shop waitress until being discovered in the summer of 1993 and inking a deal with Atlantic Records. To date, the musician has won five San Diego Music Awards, released a dozen studio albums, and formed a non-profit organization named Higher Ground for Humanity, which focuses on education and sustainable improvements. In 2003, Jewel became estranged from her mother, later accusing her of stealing millions of dollars in the year she worked as her business manager. I found out that not only was all my money gone, but I was several million dollars in debt, Jewel confessed in her 2015 memoirs. The same year, I came to believe that my mom, who was also my manager, was not the person I thought she was. As for other famous family members, Korianka Kitchler, Yule's great-granddaughter, is Jewel's cousin, is an actress, singer, and activist, was born on the 11th of February 1990 in West Germany. At just two years old, Korianka and her mother Saskia relocated to Hawaii, where her brother Kainoa was born. During her childhood, Korianka drew inspiration from Hawaiian culture and began hula dancing when she was five years old. She also trained in ballet, hip-hop, Tahitian and West African dancing before winning Ballet Hawaii's Young Choreographer Award in 1997. The future star was also selected to compete in San Diego's Tahitian dance competition two years running. After making history for being the first child to study classical voice at the University of Hawaii, Korianka studied drama at the Diamond Head Theater and began performing as an opening act for Willie Kay and other Hawaiian musicians. The family relocated to California in 1999 where Korianka bust in Santa Monica for tourist donations. Shortly after moving to California, Korianka's lucky break came when she was cast in How the Grinch Stole Christmas in 2000. Three years later, she received a full scholarship to Hollywood's Musicians Institute, where she studied music theory, songwriting, and vocal performance. Other skills include her black belt in Wushu Kung Fu and her stunt training at the National Wushu Training Center. In 2005, Korianka played Pocahontas in Terrence Malick's The New World, winning a National Board of Review Award for the best breakthrough performance. The critically acclaimed movie shot her into the limelight and paved the way for a long and fruitful career. Other roles include her portrayal of Pinty in Shadow Secrets, her depiction of Tiger Lily in Neverland, and a role in Firelight alongside Cuba Gooding Jr. As for At Lee, he made headlines in the summer of 2015, along with his wife Christina Jane, after being charged with using a helicopter to hunt a black bear while filming an episode of Alaska. In the state, it's illegal to use aircraft to hunt or spot prey. The case was put on hold due to Ashley being injured in a hiking accident. All parties pleaded not guilty, and eventually the charges against the Kilchers were dismissed. 
although the production company had to pay a fine of $17,500. Although it can be challenging to calculate the Kilter family's exact fortune, the clan earns over six figures per season of Alaska, thanks to its ratings and advertising figures. Despite not being the biggest reality stars, the Kilters have a loyal following, and each member earns up to $10,000 per episode, which comes in at approximately $150,000 a year. Reliable sources have confirmed that Otto and Ed's Kilter are worth $4 million and $6.5 million respectively. Meanwhile, Jewel is worth $32 million, thanks to her music career, and Dorianka's net worth is believed to be close to $500,000. Even taking Jewel's wealth out of the question, the Kilters are still worth $16 million, thanks also to the value of their family homestead. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.